just got word that Martin Luther King will give a press conference at 11 o'clock this morning in Atlanta. Now, the statement King is to make will differ very greatly from what Roy Wilkins has said and what Whitney Young has said, uh, and will, in a sense, condone the national result from the con in human conditions that the Negroes are forced to exist in the country. Uh, uh, King has, uh, uh, was told by Levinson, who is his principal advisor, and who is a secret communist, that he has more to gain nationally by agreeing with the violence that is coming out against him, as the president is afraid at this time and is willing to make, uh, make concessions uh, for it. King said that the worst has not yet happened in this country in such places as Cleveland, Oakland, and Philadelphia. King referred specifically to Chicago and said they, they gave me the plan today in Chicago. They don't plan to burn down the west side. They are planning to get the loop in Chicago. That's the substance of information. We got that highly confidentially over the mm -hmm. technicals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you'll communicate that to Daly so that his people will know. I let your you in Chicago tell him that they're saying this and the president has to be told. Yes, I'll, I'll take care of that right away. And uh, I gather that things went pretty good after a statement last night. Uh, Vance and uh, uh, Christopher, and uh, uh, they reported about uh, 6.30 and again 7.30 this morning that uh, no federal troops had shot anybody, that they went in right and the general had cautioned them carefully and that they had fully briefed them and that your men and the justice men and the uh, uh, army men were all working 100 percent, all agreed at the same time, no divisions among them, and that they insisted the troops be told uh, uh, what the situation was and be given good orders, and if they were fired upon, to fire back, uh, but, uh, but they, didn't have to do it. they didn't kill anybody, the federal troops didn't, and they didn't get any of them shot at. And uh, their incidents dropped after they went in, and after our statement, they dropped from about 30-some-odd uh, 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 to five per hour. Uh, this, uh, my word from out there this morning is that the business offices are open, General Motors is open, all the automobile factories are open, and people are getting back to work. They ask them, uh, I told them that, so we ought to tell them to do that. That may take their mind off of it a little bit. It, yes, it will. Now, over at uh, Cambridge, this man Brown, who is the one of the worst in the country, uh, Governor uh, Agnew has ordered his arrest for inciting the riot over there. They burned down, I think, two squares of the Negro ghetto. And the thing that is significant is that uh, both in Detroit and in uh, Cambridge, the Negro homes have been burned and destroyed. So it ha hasn't been limited solely to the white uh, uh, merchants and the white homes, which I think is very significant. Yes, it is. And I'll have for you tomorrow that memorandum you want on all the riots in the country. That's right. And I want started. you I want you to keep your men busy to find a central connection. I'm not I wouldn't be a damn bit surprised that this poverty group here is not stirring up some of this and some of my friends and your old friends that after both of us uh, are not stirring this up around the country. Well, so you, you better you better watch New York and watch Detroit and watch your Plainville and see and we'll find some central theme down the road a little bit. We'll we'll dig into that very thoroughly. Right, okay. Fine, thank you, Mr. President.